check in for ticks is easy. Now it's not when you're out on the road by yourself. Your suggestion around the waist and back. Uh, the waist, yes. And I lift it up with the back, no. Uh, between the legs and the back of your knees. Between your legs. At the, what? Between my legs. Uh, what does that mean? The back of my knees, yes. They love me back. They love me back of my knees. I can, you know, you could stash a good, uh, a good platoon of them there. Texas ages to find them at the back of my knees. I have that twist, you know, I put it to my root. Uh, feet and toes, I've not had them there yet. Inside the belly button, now how am I supposed to check inside my belly button? What am I supposed to use? Eh, like a dentist mirror, a periscope? I don't know. Uh, under my arms, I hadn't even thought of under my arms. In and around the hair and ears. Uh, thankfully, this does come in handy. Now what I'm, what I'm not telling you there is that you need to check your lady garden. The cost. I had two, two horrible little, horrible little critters in the lady garden. Uh, I had to pull them out. At least I trimmed before I came away. <laughs> Otherwise, it would like a jungle down there. I would never have found. Johnny on video. Stop it. A uh, little thing reporting from uh, Tick Watch at Rogie Falls. Hiya. Well, uh, oh, I'm, I'm here. Right, hiya. It's just a quickie about hygiene when you're on the road uh, for an extended, an extended period of time, because I know you're all quite uh, worried about this with all the tick bites, the midgy bites. Uh, obviously, my lady garden's been infiltrated with insects. That's not very good. That's not something you're going to put down a pesticide. You know, I'm not going to pop a pesticide down there, am I? <laughs> Don't. Uh, I've got this lush view. I'm climbing the pointy one later with a big handbag. So happy days, uh, but I've got a couple hours to spare. I want to get prepped. So I'm running out of pants. We'll just cut to the chase here. I'm running out of pants. Uh, as I say, day seven. So. It's laundry day. So, believe it or not, they're my, they're my pants. There's big girls' pants because they're comfortable. So I've, I've given everything a nice wash today in my bucket. Now your bucket's invaluable. Yeah? You can wee in your bucket. You can uh, have a nice bucket bath in your bucket, which I did this morning. I'm squeaky clean. Uh, no ticks anywhere. You can soak your feet in your bucket. You can do everything in your bucket. It's lush. But don't sit on your bucket because it's collapsible. And then bring this. Now if I get stopped by the police, I might have a bit of explaining to do there. Uh, but that is non-bio soap powder. And that's good for going in the Thetford. It's better than them blue chemicals. And I can wash my smalls with them. Now I've had to fashion myself a clothesline out of some guy rope in a car. Thankfully, I had a car here. So a nice little bit of a slip knot on there. Oh, uh, I've got a trekking pole over here. And then I've got it pegged out with a tent peg. Uh, and I think it's doing the job quite all right. But can I just say, you need to have, especially if you've got bloomers the size of mine, you need to make sure that your car hand brakes on. Because if not, and the wind gets up and whips through them bad boys, I tell you what, your car will be off. Uh, little D reporting from washing day in the summer rails. Keeping the lady garden fresh. You're welcome.